Hi everyone, if you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow, and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. Today's video is a really special one because I'm gonna be making wax melts for the first time ever officially. And I know some of you may say, wait, what? Like you're a professional candle maker, you've sold candles for years, you've made thousands and thousands of candles, yes but I've never officially made wax melts. And this video is also even more special because I'm gonna be testing my beeswax soy and cocoa cream recipe, which I did formulate myself, and I will link my video on that recipe if you did wanna check it out, as well as a video on why I formulated my beeswax soy and cocoa cream recipe, like why I made my own wax blend. Um, but today's video specifically is not outlining the recipe. If you want the recipe, I will uh, have the video linked and you can watch that and get the recipe um, and I'll also try to put it in the description box but this is gonna be about using my recipe in wax melts and I have made melts before as in like cut them out of the bottom of my candles and put them in a wax melter so I definitely have used the recipe I've never officially though made the wax melts in the clamshells and so that's what this video is about but at the beginning of this video I am going to be showing you all because I did buy a second DG boil um, as you all know I've used a DG boil that I got from Howdy Brewer for my soy candles for about a year um, I think about 10 months now I've had it and I did decide to get a second DG boil just so that way I could use a separate one for my beeswax soy and cocoa cream wax blend because I didn't want to get um, the two DG boils kind of mixed up to where I would have to completely empty one all the way out which is really hard to do um, so it just makes it really simple to have two DG boils for two different waxes and I will also link the Howdy Brewer where I got the DG boil um, not affiliated, not sponsored. It's just a really good melter if you are looking to size up. Don't buy them on Etsy for $800. Um, they should really only cost you about $250, I think is what I paid. But anyways, if this is something that you're interested in, then I hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep on watching. So it came with this little thing here and you just have to unscrew. Uh, it looks like these screws in the top and just get a Phillips screwdriver um, like this. And then basically what you do, um, if I remember correctly, is you just put this handle on the top here and then you flip this over like with the handle on the top and you basically put the screws through and just um, basically, here, let me see if I can do this a little bit better. I think you see what I'm doing though. You just kind of screw them in like that. And then I'm gonna tighten this one a little bit here. And then this other one. same thing to where I'm lining it up on the top of here and I think that one's a little crooked. Yeah, that isn't quite lined up right. Or maybe it's just reflecting weird in the, I think that's what's happening. Yeah, okay, there you go. Now I'm gonna tighten these. Try not to strip the screws. <laughs> it's so easy to do with these. It's like an awkward angle almost. Okay, I think that is good. Okay, now this is the part that I messed up the last time. Um, you just have to take this washer and then what you're gonna do 
um, to my knowledge is, let me see if I can zoom you in here. You're basically gonna just put this thing through the hole and then screw the washer on in the back. I wonder if that picked up on camera. Yeah, so you just put the washer on in the back, but making sure to get the washer really tight um, because I, with my last one, literally um, spilled wax all over the kitchen that way. I also got the Bruzilla jacket just so that way it's a little bit more insulated. And I have one of these already for my other DG Boil. Seems to work pretty good. I know Erica from Memory Box Candle Co. flips hers around, um, but I think I'm just gonna put mine on the regular way here because I seem to mess up the Velcro when I try to flip mine around for some reason. Probably could have done a little bit better at censoring that, but it's gonna be just fine. about four ounces and this is my very first time using this DG boil and using a DG boil for my beeswax soy and cocoa cream wax blend and this is my very first time making wax melts officially and then I'm just gonna take the temperature of this with my stick thermometer here just looking for this to get to about 185. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, so we are at about, just about 185 here, 186. So I'm gonna add, okay, I've got about just a little over five, um, 5.04 ounces. So I'm gonna go with 0.5 ounces of fragrance. And let's start out with this. Okay, we gotta choose something fast here. Let's start out with Mahogany and Teakwood by The Flaming Candle. And this is what never to do, um, pouring it directly in here. So I'm gonna tear this out and I'm gonna do 0.5 ounces. So a little less than 10%. But yeah, you always wanna do your fragrance oil in a separate container because if you ever over measure, um, it's kind of hard to undo that. So I'm at about 0.49 here, and I'm gonna call that good. Just using a little glass stirring rod here. So this is the Mahogany and Teakwood by The Flaming Candle, and I'm so excited to try out this fragrance. I've had the sample for like half a year, but I haven't actually tried it. It smells amazing right now, by the way. This is really a powerful scent. So again, that was five ounces plus about 0.5 ounces of fragrance for that 10%. And so I'm gonna have about 5.5 ounces. So we're just gonna see. Okay, and then this next one, I'm gonna do five ounces in this one as well. And just about there. 
5.01 is gonna be perfect. And then I'm gonna check out our temperature here. So we are at about 186, 185, 186, which is perfect for adding in my fragrance oil. And this time I think I'm gonna go ahead and try, let's see here, let's try the white eucalyptus. I'm gonna tear out my scale here and I'm gonna do 0 0.5 ounces. And again, please do not do this. I'm just doing this because I'm using extremely small batches and these are, you know, they're just testers for myself to play around with. So we got 0.49 there. And that is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna stir this now for two minutes. This white eucalyptus is so good. It's almost like, um, I would call this from like spring cleaning or like, it's like a freshly cleaned house or like the cold side of a pillow or something. It definitely has like a spearminty top note to it. I find that so satisfying. Okay, and then this next one I'm gonna do is gonna be, let's see. So we're gonna do five ounces here. And I think I'm gonna do the Santal from Stone Candles next, 5.01. Yeah, I'm gonna do 0 0.5 ounces. Temperature here. I had to bring the DG boil up to 192 because it was not getting hot enough. But now we are good. So we are at 193. So I'm gonna just let this cool down a little bit. I'm gonna measure my fragrance out properly. I need to get some smaller beakers for these test ones is what it is. Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing this Santo by Stone Candles. And I am going to do my guilty habit of pouring down the stick thermometer. i do 0.5 ounces. You can always use a chopstick for this. Or a glass stirring rod works really well too. These are the White Eucalyptus by Candle Science. This is so exciting. I've never done this before, you all. So I'm going to just fill each of these. I don't know if I should go a little over. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I just go. Oh, I just did it. So I went a little bit over the top. Um, I think that's probably good. Maybe I will do some of the hearts now. I really just wanted to make one wax melt for myself, like one little pack. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do these hearts. So I got these silicone molds on Amazon just for like little free samples of the wax melts. And these are just for myself because I am still brand new to these and just testing them out. But isn't this adorable? Like they're little hearts. So I'm doing six of these white eucalyptus. That's good. Okay, so that is our first one. I 
had to bring the DG boil up to 192 because it was not getting hot enough. But now we are good. So we are at 193. So I'm gonna just let this cool down a little bit. Tear out my scale here. And I'm gonna measure my fragrance out properly. I need to get some smaller beakers for these test ones is what it is. Um, I'm gonna measure this out properly. I think I'm gonna do this Sansol uh, by Stone Candles. Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing this Santo by Stone Candles. And I am gonna do my guilty habit of pouring down the stick thermometer. I'm gonna do 0.5 ounces. You can always use a chopstick for this or a glass stirring rod works really well too. Okay, so 0.49 is gonna be perfect. Okay, really need to get some smaller little beakers. Check my temperature here now. Add in our fragrance here. And stir this for two minutes. And then I'm just gonna write on here white. Hopefully spelling this right. Candle Science White Eucalyptus. And then this one I'm gonna write right here. Flaming Candle, Mahogany, and Teakwood. Own Candles Santal. Just finished pouring the Coconut Soleil, Cashmere Musk, and the Woodland Snows. Okay, so this was my first time ever making wax melts in the mold, and this was using my beeswax recipe. But um, I'm not gonna recommend this yet for wax melts because I am still testing this recipe in my melter. But we made the coconut soleil, um, mahogany and teakwood, and then all these different little hearts. Uh, Santal by Stone Candles, white eucalyptus, woodland snow and cashmere musk and i was experimenting with filling it in several ways i think this one's too full but um i think like the um mahogany and teakwood maybe does that look underfilled to you um like obviously the coconut soleil or soleil this one's a little bit underfilled but do you go all the way full with your wax melts or do you leave them um kind of like this, or like where they're individual compartments. Let me know. Um, and I also did try one that was heart-shaped. So this Woodland Snow, um, these were heart-shaped. I don't know that I'm gonna actually like that though because they were smaller. But anyways, I'm gonna let these cure and I will see you all uh, tomorrow. Okay, so it is the next day and I'm just curious to see how these are gonna pop out of the molds. I was admittedly kind of playing with them a little bit last night. Sorry, I shook the camera there, but they seem to come out really beautifully. And obviously they're not gonna be quite as hard as like a uh, pillar wax, but they're definitely not crumbly like 464. And isn't that cute? So what I was thinking was um, just using these as like free samples and I'll keep you all updated um, on how that goes with how I'm gonna package them and everything. But this batch was just like my testers cause like I said, I am very new to wax melts and I have had a lot of requests for them, but um, this is like a new thing. And I have been testing my beeswax soy and cocoa cream blend in um, the wax melter, like I've just been taking out some from my candles when they get to the very bottom and it seems to work really well, but okay, I gotta try to pop these out and just see what happens here. Just to see, oh my God, these are my very first ones in the containers. So they do leave a tiny bit of residue, it looks like. The lighting is terrible in here, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't have like a ring light or anything, I'm just in my kitchen. But look at that, that's really, like that's not bad. 
Um, I was so reluctant to use the standard um, like pillar waxes because of all the different chemicals that they contain. So if this ends up working out for me, I am gonna be so thrilled. And these will get harder as time goes on as well. But um, I just, I couldn't help but pop a few of them out. So this is where I filled it all the way to the top and I just wanted to see what would happen um, if I did that. And I kind of don't mind that at all because this way like the customer gets a little bit more product, right? And you're just gonna throw it in a melter anyway. So I feel like that's not bad whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna close these up now. I got a repair guy coming out to do some work in my kitchen this morning. So I gotta get all this stuff closed up. But look at that, like that's, I feel like that is not bad. What do you all think? Like it's a little bit creamy. Like it's gonna get a little bit on your hands, yes. But I feel like as these cure more, they are gonna get a little bit harder and I do not mind that at all because I know um, that this blend has such a good scent throw in soy, but oh my gosh, this is the white eucalyptus. Oh my God, it smells so good. I should have bought a 16 ounce bottle of this when I did my last order. I didn't remember to, I forgot. Um, that is so satisfying. Like, see, it leaves a little bit of residue, but yay, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna keep you all updated. I'm gonna come back in about a week and do an HT test for you all. Okay, so I'm gonna be trying out my wax melts and oh my God, I'm so excited. The names all look backwards because I wrote them on the insides, but this is the Cashmere Musk and I'm gonna try this one out. I just got this wax melter from Target. I actually bought a second one. Um, I do already have one of these upstairs, but I thought it might be cool to have another one just so I can test even more in two different areas of my home. Okay, so don't mind all the candles all over the counter, but you can see um, that I actually, I broke a couple of these or I took a couple of them out, but look at how clean that release is. Like there's a little bit of residue there, but that does not bother me at all. And I'm so excited to try these. So this is the Cashmere Musk by Candle Science. And I'm just gonna start with two and see. We're in my kitchen area and it's a really big, like wide open area with um, like kind of an open floor plan. So I don't even know if how the scent throw is gonna be on this, but I am gonna keep you all posted. And I did also get this gold tray at Target. It was like $25. I thought it was pretty overpriced, um, but I just thought, you know, this would be a really cute way to display like some of my wax melts, like ones that I'm featuring. So we will see if I decide to keep it. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited, you all. This is my first time like really thoroughly testing wax melts in these little containers. I've been testing my blend, um, my beeswax soy and cocoa cream blend, like just cutting it with a butter knife out of the bottoms of candles. But this is my first time trying these um, within the actual clamshells. Okay, so I lift these two little tiny cashmere musk wax melts with my beeswax soy and cocoa cream recipe and 10% of the cashmere musk literally not even 35 minutes ago. So I am blown away because my whole kitchen area is filled with this scent. And as you can see, the wax melter, like there's barely even any wax in here. And I have an open floor plan. And the fact that this is like filling like my kitchen area, I'm shipping orders in here. So don't mind all the boxes and things. But um, yeah, this is insane. Absolutely insane. Like it's filling this whole, shipping room as well as the kitchen area. All right, so this is, uh, I think we're now almost three weeks later from when I first filmed this video. I did my intro and outro, um, so my intro is gonna look like my outro because I filmed them at the same time. But this is like three weeks later and I have been using wax melts almost every day uh, from the ones that I made in my home. Um, and I have been playing with these, trying to pop them out. And 
I really have nothing but positive to say about these melts. Um, I even made some into the heart shapes. Um, I will say, as I mentioned before, that they are softer than like something that you would have that's made out of paraffin or like a pillar wax, but they're definitely not as soft as like a 464 candle where it's just gonna crumble all over. Um, so for me personally, I am really happy with that in terms of the consistency, but what I'm most happy with about these melts is the scent throw. Um, I think these throw scent better than any of my candles do, and that's really surprising to me because I just didn't think that a wax melter, um, again, I'm not that experienced with melts, but I didn't think that they could throw scent stronger than a candle, and they definitely seem to do that. And I've been using like the same three melts for like sometimes four or five days, and they still seem to retain really good scent throw, most of the melts that I did after that long. Um, I have not tried all the different scents that I made into melts. I think I did like, eight or ten different fragrances and then I also made some of my fall scents into melts um but yeah the results have been pretty much consistent across the board where I'm just getting a really good scent throw so I'm very very happy about that and I will continue to test these and keep you all updated but that is my current update for now on the wax melts and I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below if you make wax melts, what is your favorite wax to use and what fragrance percentage do you use in your wax melts? Um, I'm very curious. I did use 10% in my melts just because that was my starting point from what I used in my candles, but I have heard some people say that they use more fragrance percentage in their wax melts, so I'm curious what you do, if you wouldn't mind sharing below. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video and I'm sending everyone peace, love, and light and wishing all of you happy candle making.